Okay, let's see here. We're uh, ready to go here, I think. Uh, I'm trying to see if we're, there we go. Now we're live on Facebook. We're live recording it. We're all ready to go. Is this not wonderful? Hello, everybody. It's uh, Monday. It's Monday, and it's time for us to uh, bring in some of the nicest people I know, uh, the people of our Monday pop-up, and I simply go admit all. And uh, they should all start popping into place. There we go. There's Marjorie and there's Charlene Solis and Paul Levin and Brian Neary and Andrew Deutsch. And, and Matt, it is so very, and very good to be back with you. And somebody's, you. Got their, uh, somebody's got their thing on. Okay. I think, okay, there we go. And, and finally, of course, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely and attractive Edward Berger. That's right. <laughs> Okay, that's right. Hello, everybody. How are you? Wait a minute. Let me add Charlie to this mix. Okay. There we go. And uh, hopefully, oh, John. Who is John? Hmm. He's, is he a John or just John? This is John. Well, get ready to see some dirty pictures or something. <laughs> Because what I usually do with the with the nighttime show is I have a thing where I can just go to my picture and that's it. But let's give it a ch chance here, and then we'll get rid of them really fast. Yeah, I, didn't John? Huh? Didn't that John call the night the night show? Didn't a John call the night show last week? I, I didn't John hear. Ewing? You. Well, let's see here. I'm breaking up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hello, John. Let me see here. John, if you don't come in soon, I'm going to get rid of you. Okay. Oh, there's John. There okay. And uh, yeah. here, anybody know Amanda O'Brien? Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> I think she's Italian. Brian doesn't know her. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, what, what are you driving today, uh, Brian? What car is that? My daily driver. Coming home from Lodi. You're what? Coming home from Lodi. Yeah, but I mean, what what car is it? It's my normal daily driver Cadillac. Oh, your normal driver daily Cadillac. This yeah. Cadillac. I've never it owned. Has about 15 cars. How many people here have owned a Cadillac? <laughs> okay, so Brian is Mister Pretension. <laughs> Hello there, my, Mandy. My Hello. my dad had Cadillac surgery. What? <laughs> yeah, it is. Wasn't that cataracts? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. Oh, geez. oh my hey, Only the funny. kids got that. A lot of people here right now. Good to see you all. This is uh, this is good. John, where are you calling from? Uh, Larkspur, California. I pulled over and thought I'd try to join today. Yeah, you know what, what? What's interesting, John, uh, is that you're in Larkspur, which is very close to where I used to live, uh, San Anselmo. That's it's like, right. It's like uh, almost one over, I think. Well, actually, Kentfield, Kentfield and Larkspur, right? That's right. Yeah. And the ferry, the ferry leaves from here to go to the city. Oh, I see. Okay. So yeah. we got Larkspur, and uh, that's good. Uh, do you live in Larkspur, or where do you live? I live north in Nevada. Nevada. Oh, didn't you call us last week about Nevada? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I was on Friday night. I think. Yeah, on the the nighttime show. Yeah. Okay. Yes, good. 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 Anyway, nice bunch of people. Good to have you here. Um, Marjorie, what are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's been sitting in bed all day just watching movies and TV. <laughs> She doesn't do anything with her life but that anymore. Are you enjoying it, Marjorie? Always. Good. There you go. But she doesn't take she doesn't take to retirement too well. You know, uh, her idea of retiring is just watching TV as opposed to, you know, let's go somewhere. Well, we want to take we want to take vacations, right? She's not talking to me today. What is it? Right. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, <laughs> a, lot of, 
what a wonderful marriage. Anyway, um, and uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, uh, Francine, how you doing? I am fine. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. yeah. We never ask uh, uh, our friend Edward this, but how are you doing, Edward? Good. Good. <laughs> and uh, let's see here. And that's your home, right? That's where you live. Right, 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 right. Is that an apartment? No, no, that's an actual house. An actual house. Because sometimes yeah. when I see that kind of like heating unit you've got there. Oh, yeah, that, that's, I, that's, yeah, that's, that's what it has. It's an apartment house. No, yeah. no, it's a, it's a real house. Yeah. We've got furnaces. We have radiators. Or right. as Marjorie calls them, radiators. Right. <laughs> uh, and I try to explain to her that the heat that comes out of those things doesn't radiate. It radiates. You're not from Philadelphia, Alex. I don't you, know don't to, you don't know how to talk, Marjorie. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Do you say radiator or radiator, Paula? Radiator? I come from the same place as she does. Oh, boy. <laughs> God. <laughs> But it is. Saying, are you saying we talk funny from Philadelphia? Is that what you're saying? It talk funny, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but uh, Marjorie used to have an accent, but I've been married to her so long now, she doesn't have one anymore. I'm sure she's uh, to other people. Does she have an accent? No, I've been out of Philadelphia. Wait a minute, Mandy. Mandy, she's from Atlanta. She, you notice an accent there, right, M Mandy? Yes. I mean, it's a Northern accent to me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, do you know so, the Southern accent is considered the purest accent in America? What do you mean by pure? It, it just from a, 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 what do you call it? linguistics and so on. They consider it the most purely American accent, the Southern accent. I thought it was the Midwestern. It's not some of the really <laughs> deep, deep ones where not even you can understand them now, you know. <laughs> And I loved when I lived in Texas. I got very, I got, I got a Texas accent because it's, it's really, it's kind of easy, you know. It's relaxed, it's laid back, and so you don't pay much attention to it, you know. And uh, Jeff, how are you doing up there in uh, in Connecticut? No, sorry. I've got to, I got to put on my earphones here. Because I I can't hear people. Now. He's garbled. You're not. It's not yeah, good. you're yeah. garbled today. You're garbled. I mean, what? I'm in Florida. Oh, He's you're in Florida. Florida. Yeah. There's something wrong with your audio What's today. What's going on? I don't know, Marjorie. And yours is a little muffled too. Mine's muffled. Oh no, it's kind. It's okay now. See, I was I was not listening with earphones, so you know. Can you hear now? Yeah. So anyway, what's what? Well, let's see what's new in the world that uh, could could apply to us here. Uh, nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> so we'll see you all next week. <laughs> Great show, thanks. <laughs> you know, um, and Len Lafresco out there mm -hmm. in. Uh, uh, where are you again? What, what Livermore, California? Livermore, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and, uh, it's uh, we just got a little bit of rain. Did it rain on you out there, uh, Brian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was storming in the around Lodi, Stockton, and then yeah, by your area. I honked. Did you hear me when I honked? Yeah, I flipped you off. Oh, well, that was you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway so you know i mean um um and and uh so you're okay where you are len yeah, a little Charlie. bit of a cold going uh after we talked last week i got a cold and so i lost my voice but it's coming back yeah yeah and uh charlie you i'm hanging in here you're hanging in there and let me see anybody else uh, charlene solis how are you doing yeah. I'm doing good. And it was raining here too. Mm. Uh, it hasn't been. Did it rain here, Marjorie? It rained this morning, right? It actually snowflakes this morning. What? 
Yeah, it didn't last long. How do we get snowflakes? It's 52 degrees right now. Well, it was in the 30s when it happened. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, well, you get up before I do. You know, so. What time are you up this morning? About 8. About 8. <clears throat> yeah. Well, that's that's kind of late for her. She's you're usually up around 7, right? 7, 8. 7, 8, something like that. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, it's 75 degrees here today. What? It was 75 degrees here. Oh, wow. Screw, screw you. Degree, screw you. <laughs> There's something wrong with that in February, though. That's not good. Oh, really? Um, okay. Geez. It's usually not that high down there? No, the last several years, it started getting warmer earlier, I think. But, I mean, that can't be a good sign. Yeah. Well, we, we've gotten no snowstorms to speak of in years. Can't oh, see yeah. it, Charlie. Oh, wait, but Charlie, what, what is there. it? It's 84 degrees in all. Oh, up yours. What the <laughs> hell? Jeez. He's you know. checking the program. Okay, I'm going to tell you. If you can hear this now, I went swimming about a half a way. You went swimming. <laughs> you should drown. You should drown. Yeah. <laughs> Your audio sounds like you're still swimming. <laughs> hey ray look at ray ray's here oh Hi. hey ray Hi. your hair has gotten really gray <laughs> totally it's totally white wow well, it's also the light coming through my sunlight, that's sun sunroof. Yeah, well, that's good, though. That shows your hair exactly like it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I'm getting there. I'm getting you got about, what, 14 people here now? Wow. Wow. That's a lot of people. Ray, you're doing some play right now, right? Yeah, I'm in one. I'm rehearsing another. That's why I never come on at night ever anymore, because I'm never home. And we we have and where, where are they? Uh, Ma Mountain View in uh, San Jose. Lynn's doing the movie. <laughs> yeah. What, Lynn? Uh, I uh, filmed a little piece on a movie uh, this weekend. That was fun. What do you mean you did? It just oh, I just did a little movie. What? <laughs> no, he, he, tell him. Uh, so yeah, so they uh, they just needed a pickup shot, and they needed somebody to get out of his car and and kill a few people with an AK forty seven. I said, "Hey, I'm your man," and uh, I went and did it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute! Now, what movie was this that they're doing? This movie is called Three. Um, it is about three women, three women that um, meet after an apocalypse of some sort that happens in San Francisco, and they're walking toward Lodi or toward Manteca or something, and. And the hilarity ensues, you know, but, but it's not funny. Wait, oh, <laughs> oh, it's not a comedy. No, no. no. I, it, it's, I, a, it's a very serious, you know, survival sort of a movie, I guess. And so you uh, had to you had to pull out a, a gun and shoot everybody? Yeah, I get out of the car because I'm pissed off and there was a traffic jam and I had to kill a guy and, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Road rage. Road rage. Exactly how did you how did you get this part? Well, I know I know these people that are movie makers, and uh, I'm in another one called East Bay Confidential that'll be coming out in the next couple of months here, where I had a little bit bigger part, played a an, an Italian pimp. Imagine that, right? <laughs> Imagine Ray, you and I for years have been trying to get parts in movies, and look at him. Yeah, and, well, I've had the... I've had some parts in movies. Yeah, have you have you yeah. seen Death Blood yet? I I've told you guys about this. It's on Amazon Prime. <laughs> Death Blood 4, go watch it. You'll enjoy it. Oh, my God. Well, I didn't see Death Plug 3, so well, I, yeah. if, I, if I'm ready, I have to. There is no 1, 2, or 3. That's part of the joke. What's it called? <laughs> Death Plug? Plug? Death Blood, B-L-O-O-D. Oh. oh, okay. Death Blood Three. 4. Death Blood 4. four. But it's good that you made it because there were so many unanswered questions from 3. <laughs> and then there's a there's a teaser at the end for Death Blood Five, which we'll I, never. I know when I saw three, I was crossing my fingers they were going to do a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are, Lynn, on IMDb for the movie. Yes, yeah. I am. Yeah, I sure am. So, uh, 
Death Blood 4, wow. Cool. <laughs> How big a part were you in Death Blood 4? Very large, very large. Um, in, in virtually all of the movies, yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, I would, I'm not the star, but I'm certainly a, the, I'm like number three. See, what okay. happened is I went to radio because I figured if I did well in radio, someone would ask me to do a movie because what I really wanted to do was act. I have a face for radio, so that would have been good. But. Yeah, n nobody, <laughs> nobody ever asked. You know, it, it, I, I never had any interest in this whatsoever, and it just sort of fell in my lap. And I said, "Well, yeah. I'm going to run with it." I've done well, a couple you can, commercials. You can watch now. it on. You can watch it on Amazon Prime for a dollar ninety nine. All right, that's right. That's right. Yeah. It's the best deal in town. Yeah. I'll pass. I'll wait until it's free. <laughs> I'll, I'll send that's, you the dollar ninety nine, Alex. That's no slight. That's no slight of you, Len. That's really I'll, no slight of you. I'll, I'll I'll send you the two bucks. Watch the damn movie. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be your third movie. This is my third feature length movie. Yes. Oh, you were in some shorts, were you? I've been in four four or five shorts. Yeah, student film shorts. Um, about 10 commercials for Robert Half, media, social media, um, and one commercial for a guy that repairs carpets that has 1.1 million views on TikTok. Phil's, Phil. Phil Meyer? Yeah, Phil Meyer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You still got his autograph when he's there. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. How many views a guy who's a, what, a carpet maker or what he, is he? He fixes carpets. Like if you have a hole in your carpet, he repairs it. Yeah. He got 1.1 <laughs> million views for this. Really? Uh, this really? Movie, yeah. yeah. And I'm sitting here doing this, getting maybe 200 views. <laughs> right? Isn't Screw that crazy? <laughs> Today's well, my I'm, day. I'm just feeling left out of society now. Well, have you got hmm? the chick that had so many views on TikTok um, with her series called Who the Blank Did I Marry? Oh, shit. What was oh. this? Who the blank did I marry? Well, she uses the real, you know, yeah. the F word. Yeah. Um, but it's actually a lady that lives in Atlanta or suburban Atlanta. But she went on TikTok a couple of weeks ago and did 50 tick a series what? of 50 TikToks telling the story of how she married a pathological liar. Wow. <laughs> Is she still married to him? No, that this oh, okay. in a no, we're divorced now. She <laughs> met him. Long story short, she immediately went viral. She had over 200 million views. Estimates are that she paid anywhere between 80 and a hundred thousand dollars. Jeez, because she has two over 200 million views. Wow. But I'm one of the weirdos that watched it. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, we've all been there. Hey, well. One thing that hooked me in was because it was in the Atlanta area and it was, this happened like during, it started right before COVID. So she's telling the story of like their, how they met on a dating app and they dated and then they got married, you know, crazy. It was crazy. Oh, but really? our, really? that's, that's what And it's it. called what? It's if you, her name, her username on TikTok is Risa Tisa. I think that's her name. Is, Reese, she, is she, is she one of those who really, the fuck did I marry? That's, wow. Yeah. Is she one of those really good uh, uh, Southern storytellers? Is that what does it? <laughs> Maybe. She is kind of long-winded. Each video is 10 minutes. So this was literally eight hours. But Whoa. people have <laughs> money to, after that showing Locking themselves, like carrying their phone around their house. Like, that's what I was doing. I was like, put it on my laundry, you know, like holding my clothes while I was watching it, you know, eating my lunch, watching it, eating my breakfast, watching it. I did it for like, I guess I binged it. It was like, it took me like two days to watch the whole thing. Well, I should do Who the Fuck Did I Marry Too? <laughs> <laughs> and I've got many, many, many stories to tell. Here we go. Uh... So you're four, aren't you four? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. 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 But uh, See, the flip, the script has flipped on her because now 
since she's got all these people sending her on trips and she's got money, she's monetized it. Now people are saying that possibly she's the liar that she made it all up. And it, uh, <laughs> what, what did, what did she say about her former husband? Did she say nasty things about her former husband? Yeah. And let me tell you, if anybody follow knows anything about the Bible, she called him like she wasn't going to give his real name. So she called him Legion. So do you know what Legion no, no. would be in the deep? <laughs> That's what the, you know, like a group of demons were referred to in the Bible was Legion. Oh, it's so Legion. She, okay. She normally is Legion in the story, but. Wow. Because crazy. If, if she used his real name or they, it, it, somebody could easily find out who he was, he could sue her. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, supposedly, I heard this morning on the radio, because especially since this all took place in Metro Atlanta, um, it's been a big thing in, in Atlanta. Um, on the local radio station, they did a little story about it this morning saying that he's now come forward, saying it's all a lie. She's the one that's lying. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah but what isn't that what divorce is all about <laughs> you know he lied he lied i thought this is what jerry springer was for <laughs> right. you're right i start uh, excuse me i i forgot no but really that's uh that's amazing that's an amazing story i i don't know what i'm gonna i, I maybe i should do something like that it's crazy what people can do now and how they can just innocently go on a social media platform like that. And then, like I said, within a month, you've got $100,000 in your bank account because you did something like that. Yeah, I don't know. If you, if you do, um, for instance, if you do uh, like I do YouTube and I get a, a million views, you automatically get $4,000 for that. So for every million views you get, you get four thousand dollars. Am I right, Andrew? You know this too, right? About I don't know the values because yeah, I've I, never I, gotten a million views. Well, I checked views. it out. It's it's a, it's it's four four thousand dollars. So like, there's this little girl who, when she was ten, started doing busking on the street, playing the violin, and uh, over the years, she is now worth five million dollars. Because she gets these really high numbers. I mean, some of her have gotten, uh, I don't know, like 5 million, 6 million views. And then she does like a couple of them every week, and they all get at least a million views. So it's, it's she's making a fortune, making an absolute fortune. Um, But I have a friend named Larry Bubbles Brown, who's a comedian. <laughs> And and Larry is the biggest Luddite I've ever known. Uh, this is a guy who is, until this recent times, has only had dial-up for the internet. Okay. I think he's got a flip phone too, doesn't he? He has a, he has a flip phone and he has, has dial-up, which is, you know. I don't, it's unbelievable. So anyway, they finally put in uh uh to his you know to his uh oh, his uh apartment house okay. they put in high speed internet so they gave him high speed internet free for the first month and after the first month he got rid of it <laughs> and, and i said why and he said because all of a sudden i found myself watching an orangutan driving a golf cart <laughs> yeah and, and his, his right arm was getting real tired. He says, I don't want to waste my time <laughs> doing this. So I got rid of it. So he's back to dial up. When, wow. when did you get a golf cart? Wow. <laughs> well, I, it, it begs a lot of questions. Like it could very easily be Donald Trump, you know. Uh, I, got, I got my shoes today. They have a, a slot in there to put my ankle monitor. Your mouth to God's ear, baby. <laughs> oh boy how's everything in cleveland there paula Akron. well uh, yeah akron but that's close 
Today the temperature is 60. I mean, I think yesterday it was 20, but you know, it, it's been going kind of up and down, but it's really nice today. And I'm looking at for the buds on the trees. It do may like, happen. Do you, it like may it happen. Up, do you like it up there? Because I lived in Minnesota for a short time. I lived in Minnesota for a short time, uh, which is kind well, of the same in Ohio. I know she's in Ohio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but there's a similarity in weather and so on and so forth. Well, I um I, I like the area that I live in because it's it's like a college town, uh, mm -hmm. where I live. It's, yeah. it's it's in the vicinity of of uh, Akron U, and it's and there's a lot of professors that live around here, and it's and it's nice. It's kind of uh, a simple town, not complicated. And well, know. I don't know about that. It's, we're surrounded by you know like. Luddice, <laughs> yeah. as you say, but but um, and I I miss a big city. I'm basically you know that that's where I am mostly. Yeah, in my heart. In your heart. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, yeah. Marjorie loves living in the big city, don't you, Marjorie? Have you, have you I'm got, ready to leave. You ready to leave? Okay. Are you? Well, I don't. I'm tired of being here all the time. You're tired of being here all the time. Yeah, we have to go on a that trip. Makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, we have to go on a trip. We're waiting for this money to come in, and and it takes forever. Uh, go, go visit Paula. Huh? Go visit Paula. I'll come down. We'll have dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really. I'm only forty five minutes away from her. Uh -huh. really, you're you're in where? You're in Cleveland. 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 So I was close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no cigar. <laughs> And how, how do you like Cleveland? I like living here. I grew up, I left for 20 something years and I choose to live here. I could live anywhere. Do yeah. I do. yeah. Yeah. You, I like you travel a lot, don't you? Andrew? I used to, used to. Last year I spent almost the whole year in Maryland, but uh, I used to travel 40 something countries every year. But you, you know, the show that I watched over and over, I watched the whole thing it was hot in Cleveland. I started watching it and I couldn't stop watching it. It was, it was, that was very good. That was you, my stripper name. God, <laughs> you, agree, yeah. you agree with me on that one, right, Francine? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good that was show. good. It's a good yeah. show. I, I actually uh, signed, up, signed up. I signed up for a meet and greet with Valerie Bertinelli in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Believe it or not. A meet and greet with Valerie Bertinelli. Is there well, a reason for that? Because I've loved her since day one. And, She's my hall pass, and I told my wife I'm going to see her. She's got a cookbook out. Oh, she's your hall pass. Thanks for funny. Make sure you tell her that she'll be she'll be very honored. I, 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 I yeah, that, yeah, they'll be escorting me out. <laughs> John, you, uh, you, you live in Novato. That's correct. Has it gotten any more exciting than it used to be? Because it used to be the dullest city in California. No, it's a snore. Um, the city management is not very good. Uh, they're like in arrears from the last 10 years. Um, oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. No, there's there's one little theater group that tries to do some things, but all of Marin's gotten really quiet, in my opinion. I think you have to go to the city for some action and more diversity. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, but the weather's great. Uh, I like Mount Tam. Do you remember Mount Tam Elias? Yes, big of, course, here. I, of course, Mount Tamalpais is my favorite, was my favorite mountain. You know? Yeah, and that's, that's my position. I love going up there and just hiking around and looking over the view of the whole bay, you know. I would go up there, sit up there with my car looking out over the whole bay area. It was beautiful, yeah. beautiful place. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's but, nice, but you're right. Nevada's a real snore. It just, it hasn't, I used to be in the restaurant industry and nobody would go up there and open like a real fine dining place I mean, because I, they... If you were going north, you never stopped in Novato. You never said, hey, listen, we got to stop in Novato. Right. There's never a reason to stop in Novato. There wasn't a restaurant there that you wanted to go to or whatever. You bypassed it. And the next town you came to, it would stop and do something. Petaluma. That's right. And Petaluma, right. in case people don't know, Petaluma was very famous for something. A lot of movies <laughs> were made in Petaluma. Well, what are you what are you saying, Mandy? Get your hand American up. graffiti. What parts of it, yeah. Wait a minute. Really? Yeah. yeah Amer American graffiti was made yeah, there? Yeah, yeah well, they, they, they got kicked out of uh wherever they were. They, yeah. were, doing, they were doing <laughs> that's it. That's right. 
in San Petaluma. Petaluma is oh, wait a minute, American me, graffiti. They were doing it in uh, in San Rafael, and San Rafael didn't like the commotion. So after about the first night of shooting there, they threw them out of San Anselmo. So they immediately went up to Petaluma and finished it off there. So part of the street scenes are are from San Rafael, but the major part of the film was shot in in, uh, in Petaluma. But the thing yeah. was that Petaluma was this kind of city you could go to if you're a movie maker that had streets that you could look all the way down these streets and you could then place that movie in almost any part of the century, of the, of the uh, last century, because uh, it just fit. So Peggy Sue Got Married was done up there. I'm sure I remember a couple of other films were done in uh, in Petaluma. Wasn't it The Birds? Huh? The, the, the Birds was done there, wasn't no, it? No, The Birds was done in... Uh, in uh, uh, Bodega Bay. Bodega, Bodega Bay. Bay. Bodega Bay, yeah. Um, and um, and a, a lot of those places are still up there. That church, that uh, school that uh, they had the kids ran away from with the birds pecking at them. It's still there. <laughs> but, uh, but no, Petaluma is used a lot for movies. Oh, uh, Howard the Duck was done in Petaluma. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm right. on this, I'm on this Facebook page and it's called behind the scenes. Yeah. And they show like a picture of uh, like what it is when they're really acting with a green screen. And then they show like, you know, what the movie shows. Right. And it's incredible how there's no, there's no film anymore. I mean, yeah. it's all computer. Everything is computer. Yeah. Basically, most actors are working in front of green screens now. Yeah, yeah you go on that uh, that Facebook page, and it's just nonstop. It's, it's like crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I have a green screen here that <laughs> I use. Um, oh, that, well, look at look at look at our good friend here. You know, yeah. that's a green screen. I wonder what that's like for the actor. Well, you, you know something it really calls upon you to act. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To imagine there's stuff there. Well, I mean, I know they have to do that <laughs> on, on stage. You know, they have to create a world, and 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 when they look out at the audience, they're not seeing the supposedly they're not seeing the audience as much as they're in that world. But I never thought about that in in the film industry. Well, on stage, you've got the props and everything, so you're pretty much encapsulated in that world you're supposed to be in when you're doing a green screen there's nothing there yeah you know and what yeah, they do is they, they they hold up a ping pong ball so you can look at what you got to be looking at yeah. yeah well they show they show like you know the guys with the ping pong balls all over them and they're walking around like a dog and that's like in the movie there's a guy talking or being with the dog and the dog's not even a dog the dog is all computer generated there's some guy with a bunch of things on his body yeah, yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Nothing's real anymore. No. Yeah. I mean, in the old days, you know, when you saw a movie and they built sets, like for Ben-Hur, you had to be in awe of that because they went and they got several thousand people to sit in those stands and whatever, you know. But today, a million people, you know, you used to go and see, uh, what, Lord of the Rings and there are thousands upon thousands of people attacking things. And they're not there, you know. So it's it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Back in the day when they had cast of thousands movies, they had cast of thousands. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. Now, now it's they just cast have a of AK forty seven. Cast of a thousand pixels. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I heard Marjorie sneeze in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> Muted. Yeah. You did. Yeah. I was sneezing. You're quiet today, Margie. How much pot did you smoke? No pot. <laughs> I should. See, I have this little vape. I have this little vape that has pot in it, you know, and I use it to put me to sleep. Mm. So I take some of it and it just, boom, I'm out, right? How she, however, she takes it to get high. And <laughs> she's gotten used to my little vape. And uh, so I have to check on her every now and then. So you haven't been high today? You just... Uh, just here. Just, Just high on you, Alex. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Well, you know, that's 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 as it should be. You know, when you take when you take the vape, <laughs> when you take the vape and it makes makes you go to sleep, do you get a good night's sleep on that? Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I do indica. And I find that's really the one that puts you to sleep. It doesn't put me to sleep. It makes me high. <laughs> I can't sleep. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. Yeah, no, if, if you only do one puff, if you do like three or four, yes, you do get so much pot that it's hard to fall asleep. So you have to just, just do one and you're okay. You know, I'm, that, that's my, isn't it amazing? You know, I used to smoke pot to get high. Now I smoke pot to put me to sleep. Stay. You know, I just found out, I feel really out of it. I just found out that pot is actually legal in New York. I, I didn't know that. You didn't know it? I didn't know it. I didn't, I knew it was not illegal. Like you wouldn't get, you know, if you were smoking and a cop stopped you, you wouldn't get busted. But that's always been true. But I didn't know until like they opened a dispensary down here. You know, an actual, I thought like they were testing. The dispensaries were for like testing. No, I, I don't know no, what no, I, it's legal. Where, where have you been the but, last few years? Well, you know, they didn't, <laughs> they didn't actually make an announcement. You we know said, I mean? like, wait a minute, wait a minute. We sent out a memo. Didn't you get yeah, it? I didn't get the memo. <laughs> I didn't get the memo. And, you know, we I don't, but I'm, Texas. yeah, but I don't, I don't, uh, I don't really smoke anymore. Well, see, like, I know it's legal. My problem is I don't know where I can buy it. We I, get it I, from our friend in California. Well, no, but no, we, we we don't have to get it from somebody in California. They sell yeah, it. I hear I hear there's a place two, three blocks away from but us. But not as good. Carlos said it's not as good. It's, Take it's it from not, my oh, friend Carlos. It's not as good as regular <laughs> pot. Okay. You know, but uh uh, but but you have one near you. I uh, there's one two uh two two blocks away on seventy third Street. Seventy third and what? You know. Um, it's between second and third, I think. First and second, or second and third, something like that. And seventy. Third. Yeah, third. Oh. Well, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. You know, I mean, but we we supposedly have one. I I looked it up. We have one about a block and a half from us. But I don't all know. over. But the stuff you get is not as good as the stuff we get. Yes. Are you saying illegal stuff is uh, is better? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I've heard that. I've heard that. I, I heard that on NPR the other day. They were talking about it. <laughs> the cheap people are buying the illegal <laughs> because it's much better pot and it's, it's actually better. less it's stronger. Less it's better. What? Yeah, because oh, it's not taxed. <laughs> yeah. It's not taxed and it tends to be better. Yeah. Well, that's it why that's why pot dealers are doing okay today mm -hmm. because okay. the product is still much better than what they're selling in these uh, stores. Although I would imagine, I don't know. Uh, I mean, the stuff that goes in the vapes seems to be pretty good, you know? Yeah. 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 Do you have delivery service there, Alex? No. Oh, okay. In <laughs> Marin here, they deliver. They deliver from Sonoma and in Marin. Marin likes <laughs> it more. But they'll deliver it to your door. Really? Really? Maybe yeah. maybe I got to uh, check with Instacart and see if they... Uh, yes, <laughs> should. I wouldn't be at all surprised. <laughs> they do have a service like Instacart for delivering pot. I, I was approached to do it because I was doing like Uber driving. And you can drive and be a pot deliverer. Wow. Mm -hmm. well, you know what happened here in New York? What they did is they gave out the licenses for these dispensaries, but they only gave them to people who went to prison for marijuana. Right. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. So it was a way of making up for what they considered a great injustice. And so if you got busted for pot and spent time in jail, you can get one of these licenses, one of these dispensary licenses. Sure. And they have the, I, I, I don't know if they had let other people get them, but these people definitely are the first in line. So, you know. Although, That's fine. But some of them have been complaining that the giving out of the licenses haven't been fast enough. Sure. So, whatever. What a bunch of potheads you guys are. Jeez. <laughs> um, uh, Mandy, you haven't ever tried marijuana down in Atlanta because it's illegal down there, right? It is illegal, correct. 
<laughs> she's at work. And she's at work. I like it. I had a girl. <laughs> it's illegal in Texas, too. Yeah, that, that, that's Texas. right. That's right, Your Honor. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and let me see. Well, oh, hey. we're. Uh, There's we're, also the gummy variety. That's very popular here. Well, popular we, here too. Yeah, Marjorie has tried this. Well, tell tell them about the time that you got a candy bar. She got <laughs> she got a candy bar. Sent me a chocolate Where? square. A friend of ours from California sent me a little chocolate square. Like it wasn't a little. It was a, it was like a little. It was a bar. It was like about that size. A okay. square, and yeah. it had segregated lines in it. And I just thought that was the design, so I ate the whole thing, <laughs> not knowing. <laughs> I was high for like three days. You he were, kept calling me to see if I was okay. <laughs> wow. I mean, she had eaten this thing, and I went, what did you just do? And she said, oh, I just ate the, uh, the pot marijuana uh, chocolate. And I went, you're not supposed to eat the whole <laughs> thing. And I don't know, there's two little... A time to get her down somewhere to pump out her stomach. Yeah. <laughs> I just said, I'm not going to do anything for the next three days. And I didn't. But it wasn't, <laughs> I don't think it was a particularly comfortable high, you know, because you. I was just stoned. It was not a nice stone. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. I did that once and I, I got so, I thought I was going to die. I, I almost had a friend of mine bring me to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, she, she said, just go to bed and wake up whenever you wake up and you'll be OK. So, <laughs> so I thought I was like having an out of body experience. It was yeah, terrifying. Well, that's like the paranoia. The worst is the cotton mouth. No, it was not. No, cotton mouth didn't even compare to what this was. <laughs> Ray, I don't know if you're aware, but you're actually still sleeping. This is all a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Hello to Kevin Stopper, by the way. Where are you right now, Kevin? Muted. On mute. Yeah. Where are you? On Kevin? mute land. Oh. oh he's he's away. There you go. Um, I'm sitting in a parking lot door dashing. Oh, you're <laughs> door working. dashing. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not delivering pot though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, DoorDash. I, I I bought their jeans once. They were pretty good. <laughs> yeah, different version. They're yeah. not as tight. How much money is there in DoorDashing? Not a lot. Not a lot. Okay. Oh, uh, it gives me something to do. Yeah. I guess uh, you know. I think I've been on. I think I've been on for two hours, and I made about fifty bucks or something. Three hours. That's not bad. Well, yeah. Sure. It's not exactly fuck you money, but it's, you know, it's good, you know. Yeah. Builds up after a, a week or two. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, here in New York, it's it's legal, Francine. So welcome to the. To yeah. The, uh, uh, I just don't smoke anymore, though. That's the only thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, am, I, I don't smoke anymore either. I mean, Marjorie is always going here. You want a piece of a bit of this joint, you know whatever and i go and eh, nah. you know you don't even see me smoke that much anymore part of the reason i don't smoke is i i guess it's not that i got nasty or mean or anything i just became antisocial. i just closed down yeah and i don't like that you know i and and also i don't want to take a a, a, a toka pot at any time where i am going to be having something i have to do like this Mm -hmm. you know i mean i could have puffed on it a couple of times today before doing it but i don't like to do it when i'm high because this isn't pleasurable to me when i'm high and i'm not very good at it when i'm high so i become i shut down so i if i'm going to do pot it's i've got to have a, a a free time that i don't you know have to do anything else yeah exactly that's why i don't do it anymore yeah. Now you guys, you guys are in California. How many of the guys in California do pot? Do you do pot, uh, Brian? No, he, he doesn't. No, I did enough drugs earlier in life to not the yeah. little pot. <laughs> yeah. John, do you do pot to this day or on occasion? But I've basically retired from it. But I've got a quick story. Uh, one time, somebody gave me some 
brownie, uh, what do you call it? Brownies, pot brownies. And I left them in my truck. And my pug, when I went into the store, got into the bag and ate oh. all the, and I completely freaked out. You know, he's walking around. I thought I had killed him. And when I took him to the vet, the vet asked me, do you have any left? He'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Story. Nobody's ever died from smoking pot. You know, no. um, um, they, you mean they, you mean they lied to us? <laughs> we we for madness. Yeah, before, really? Uh, before it was legal, people died trying to buy it. Yeah, yeah that's true. Well, the thing is that uh, I nobody. Uh, I used to say the only two bad side effects of marijuana were obesity and pregnancy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, uh, I, I just, I was always very, uh, you know, if I had to go to work, like I remember one time, this was this is my favorite story about doing drugs. There was a drug in, uh, in, in Spain called Dormadinas. And what they were was they were half a Quaalude and you could buy them over the counter in, uh, in, uh, in Ibiza and in Spain. Uh, and they weren't against the law. And so I, I went and I bought some and I brought some back with me, you know, but whatever. So I had this friend, her name was Ginger J. Walker. Yeah, that's <laughs> her absolute name. And uh, she, we were having dinner in Chinatown and she says, you want a Dormadina? And I looked at my watch and I knew the Dormadinas were very short acting. You could take one at uh, eight o'clock at night and by midnight, you weren't high anymore. And I said, Sure, I don't have to do a show till two o'clock in the morning. That's when my show went on the air. So I took one. And about a half hour later, she says, so are you high? And I went, no, nothing. So she says, maybe we, that was a dud. Here, take another one. I said, I took another one. <laughs> I look at my watch. And I go, well, if I take it now, it'll be like 1230. I'll be fine. Right? This is not going to end well, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> well, it doesn't end badly exactly. But anyway, uh, so uh, I, I'm, I'm going. Uh, so about a half hour later, she says, say hi. And I went, no. No, no. And she said, well, try one more. And I'm looking at my watch. And I go, well, if I take it, it'll be over by one o'clock. Okay. So I take it. And I we get, get finished eating and we leave. And I take her back to her apartment because we got a car. And and she goes back to her apartment and I, she goes, did you get high? And I said, no, nothing. I don't know what it is. My body, I suppose, just absorbed it and didn't didn't want to let me get high. So now I go to work and I have a show that goes on at two in the morning. And my guest that morning at about three o'clock was Jack Nicholson. <laughs> oh, shit. And I'm sitting at the table across from him. And all of a sudden, in the middle of my interview with Jack Nicholson, here's Johnny. The, <laughs> the Dormadina hits. And I am just reeling because I got three of these things in me and they're all firing off one after the other, right? <laughs> And we go to a commercial break, and I'm like my nose is on the table. Okay. <laughs> and I look over at Jack and I go, Man, I'm fucking high. He says, You look at pal. <laughs> <laughs> was he there? Or was it a hallucination? No, he George was there. He was there. <laughs> Thank God for radio, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It was it was the second time I'd ever had him on. So, you know, so he we he knew me. He knew that I was okay, but he said you you look at pal, you know. <laughs> and, uh, oh man. Yeah, what? You don't hear from Jack Nicholson anymore, do you? No. He's retired. He hasn't yeah. called in weeks. He doesn't even show up for Laker games, does he? I haven't seen him. I think I saw him there once. Yeah. Um, I don't see him. Yeah, but not recently. Not recently. I I had read that he's just kind of taken up the recluse thing at his ranch and wherever and just sits there and does nothing all day. 
Well, you know, I, 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 I imagine you get a point to a point where you're a little tired of being a movie star. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and also, you know, as you get older, you're constantly having to keep yourself looking young and crap like that. And I think you just get tired of it and go, Hey, I had a great movie career, made a lot of money. I've got a, I got a ranch here. I'll just sit here and watch the moss grow, you know? Yeah. He hasn't made movies in years. No, no, no. Uh, but, uh, you know, so I'm, uh, that was my, that was my Jack Nicholson getting high and not having it affect, <laughs> have, not affect Alex, me. I just looked it up. It says he quit acting because he has dementia. Mm. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Wow. wow. How old is he? Well, he, oh, he was born in 1936. 80, 86. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So that's why he quit? Yeah. That's interesting. That sure seems to be happening a lot lately. Bruce Willis. Yeah. Bruce Willis and that uh, Wendy, somebody or other. Wendy, Wendy Willis. Wendy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. in bad shape. She's in really bad shape. But yeah. you know, I felt she was always in bad shape. But you know, yeah. uh, but a lot of people are getting those types of things now. Well, you know what it is. I think a lot of people who did a lot of alcohol, a lot of drugs. Yeah. You know, maybe the downside is dementia. Well, they say she did a lot of alcohol. Yeah. 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 Oh, I believe. But you know, who are you I talking about? Who? Uh, um, Wendy Wendy Williams. Oh, yeah. Uh, the thing is that that um, uh, you know, I mean, I I just we don't know what the long term effects of constantly being a pothead are. Pot it's doesn't make you dementia. That's what they <laughs> <laughs> don't be too sure, Charlie. <laughs> Hadn't affected me. <laughs> <laughs> or me. Charlie thinks he's a physicist, though, you know? <laughs> yeah, but, but don't you need don't you need dementia to be a cowboy fan so you forget the last <laughs> <one? laughs> Oh. Shots Damn. Boy, we walked right into that one, didn't we, Brian? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Brian's still throwing them out. But, you know, we have a record here today. We have three people all in cars today. Oh, wow. Yeah. We got Brian in the car, we got John in the car, and we got uh, um, um, uh, Kevin in the car. By the way, I got to ask Kevin something. Kevin and I and another guy, another two guys, talk to each other on Saturday night, right, Kevin? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the other day, we we did this thing, as we normally do, and when I get off, I go over to my TV set, and there on YouTube is one of Kevin's videos. He does videos of bands, of high school bands. Uh, but the funny part about it was it said posted an hour ago. Did you post those while we were talking to you? Sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it can I was multi uploading it while you... While we were talking, I was uploading it because yeah, okay. it happened for the day, and I wanted Testing. to get it on kids before they got home. Yeah, well, I mean, it was really <clears throat> killer because I'm saying to myself, he wasn't paying attention to me when we were talking. He was uploading <laughs> he was this thing. Who's multitasking? <laughs> what happened to Marjorie? Is she? Did she die? <laughs> Her boyfriend came over. <laughs> I, mean, I, I gotta leave and go feel her pulse you know never, never know what's going on in the other room there well we're at that point in our lives where if i'm if she's sleeping and she's just not a stir from her i kind of push her to make you know to feel her and make sure she's still alive you know take the mirror put it under her nose yeah. make sure there's a yeah chair. yeah right exactly <laughs> she's she's delivering getting a package from uh from yeah. California from Carlos. <laughs> All these drugs, yeah, yeah. But it, no, she. We we get our. We, we have pe this woman who uh, sends us, a friend of ours who sends us 
uh, the the little vape packets, you know, that go in the vapes uh, from California. And I'm just sure I could probably walk down the street and buy them, but I haven't done it yet. So you know, uh, plus they don't they don't make a big deal about where all these pot stores are, do they, Francine? Uh -huh. You know, um, I don't think they're allowed to advertise, for instance. You know, so it's true. You haven't seen it on TV yet. Yeah. Right. What is that noise? <laughs> I think it's Mark. Mark, 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 Mark. No, I think it's something Ray's doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ray's off doing something too. Yeah. Yeah. He's with he's with Marjorie. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, mute your microphone then. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna go do something, always mute mute your microphone. Um so anyway, anybody do anything interesting this last weekend? Nah, my bum a bunch of dull people. You know? I already oh, talked about Apple Watch. Oh, you got that a new Apple Watch? Week. Yep, I got a new brand new one. Which one? Just the regular mm -hmm. one? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, why'd we you, got it. Why'd you get a new one? Because uh, the one I had doesn't have the detection if you fall that it calls 911. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> so my kids were worried about. Do they have that do they have that ultra one in? now or they not they hold off on that stuff. well this is the ultra right here yeah but they took those off the market didn't they no i think they're back on i think for some reason they didn't go off they they managed to get a stay on that uh, mm -hmm. uh, the think, ones with the oxygener in it right i think yeah but i think what they did is they took away the feature uh they yeah that's, that's the only reason i want one is that oximeter thing what now what does it do exactly just read your oxygen levels. Yeah. yeah. When I sleep, I get that. I, I want that for that. When well, I sleep. slowly, what the problem was is that that feature was actually invented by somebody else. And, yeah. What else is new? Everybody steals each other's crap. And nowadays. Apple wasn't willing, didn't pay for it, you know. But this watch, yeah. this new one that I got, this more expensive one, the Ultra, is a much better watch. Than the, uh, I mean, uh, and I, I like the uh, Apple Watch, but this thing, it's spectacular. Three days without having to charge it. Oh, I wonder crazy. if they, I wonder if they pulled that feature off your watch in one of the updates. That's what I'm thinking they did, because I don't, I don't see anywhere that there's a thing that says, you know, oxygen level or well, here's blood oxygen. Well, there's blood oxygen. That's different, right? Yeah, that's no, it's the same. That's it. Yeah. Is that it? Blood oxygen. Yeah, see, mine yeah. still does blood oxygen. Yeah. Yeah. See, I didn't think they were pulling it off what they had out there already, but I know yeah. they were taking it off the new ones. But then there was all that rigmarole with the courts, and then they <laughs> they were going to take they did take the watch off for a while, and then they put it back on. But I think they, like you said, they took it off and uh, or put it back on without the feature. Well, here's my blood oxygen off. level. You ready? Yeah, eighty-seven percent. So that's good. Oh, you're good. You're alive. Yeah, yeah. it gets to ninety. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Uh, what a day. So, how's everything down in Florida, Jeff? Just quickly, it's nice, it's beautiful, it's hot, it's warm. You went swimming today. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> It was super nice when I got there. We went yesterday and we went to this museum. It's on the street. And all of these, a lot of kids, but adults also, all painted on the floor. And they walked around and you see every old stuff in here. Yeah, we can I can barely hear you. Yeah. For some yeah. reason, there's something wrong. I'm, with the I'm, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if it's your headphones, like it your totally earphones. Is, yeah. Probably sometimes, is. sometimes when you use earpieces like that, it distorts the sound. Because <laughs> oh, the microphone is in the head. The, the microphone yeah. is in the headset. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the problem. He's not going to hear it. Yeah. Uh, He's not going to hear us. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Maybe but, he's still underwater. Well, actually, if you have like an iPad or whatever oh. iPhone, just use the microphone on the right. iPad rather than right. the ones through the earphones. 
yeah. because they they will have a tendency to to have a muffled sound. But uh, anyway, hey, listen, it looks like we're kind of running out of time here. God, I love this group of people. It's just so much fun. Just nice fun for an hour, you know, chit chatting and things like that. And I and I and the audience apparently listening loves it because every week they seek it out in pretty good numbers. So uh it's you know, I, I thank what are you. the numbers, Alex? What? You said good numbers. What are they? Yeah, up to five now. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm pushing for six. Pushing for six. Yeah, we, 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 I think we need some residuals here. You know, I don't know. Well, yeah, you we know, know. Uh, I I'm going to as soon as I get a million people watching this, and I get that four thousand yeah. dollars, get the damn thing. Okay. <laughs> hey, listen. Good talking to all of you. First of all, there's uh, there's Brian. Are you going to go? pick your daughter up from school or where are you exactly yes yeah just waiting for her to get out now really oh, okay yep. she are you still is it still a, a a thing where she doesn't mind you leaving her off in front of the school instead of a block well, she's, away she's huh? fine with it yeah okay because a couple you know, more years for that <laughs> well, yeah. the I, other two aren't like that the other two don't want that don't yeah. want that but i think she you know she's very proud of you as a dad i think you know uh, you and she are pals. That'll change. That'll change. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, something to look forward to. That'll change. Yeah. Uh, 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 Paula, always good seeing you here. Uh, always good having you around. And uh, Marjorie, nice to see that you're still uh, alive. Uh, I'm still here. Uh, <laughs> what's for dinner tonight? Surprise. That means <laughs> leftovers. Uh, thank Francine, thank you so much. It's such a pleasure that you've joined us now every week. We really Hi, appreciate it. You know, uh, and of thank course, you. Andrew Deutsch. Oh, what a pleasure <laughs> for you. And uh, Charlene Solis and Len LaFrisco. Always a pleasure. Nice that you're always here. Same thing with Charlie. John, newcomer. We keep calling. We love having you on this show. You know, thank, thank either, you. either one, but you know especially yep. here very nice um, yep. andy uh, uh, uh everything going good down there in uh, in atlanta where they're, they're trying to throw out the case against donald trump by saying that uh, the attorney general had sex yeah uh, that's, uh, oh that's ridiculous you know if it's a crime it's still a crime whether she screwed anybody or not exactly uh, and yeah. that's the most political we get on this show. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Mandy. Really appreciate it. Love, love having you here. Uh, Ray, call, be on the show again. You're fine. I will. You fit right in. And of I course, love it. Kevin Stopper. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And finally, we go up to our good friend Edward Berger, who signs us off by saying, "That's all, folks." <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody. Never gets old. That's right. <laughs>